Hi, my name is Chad Carnes with MCA Connect, and you're watching another episode of Five Good Minutes in Microsoft Dynamics. And the question for today is, is who is Stephen Curry? Uh, in 2013, Nike approached then Steph Curry, and throughout their presentation, they called him by the wrong name. Uh, the PowerPoint slides that they showed him had a Kevin Durant's picture. They forgot to update their slide deck. And the important thing is to remember is that the little things matter in what we do. And today, I'm going to show you just a couple of little things, okay? I'm going to show you how to add a field to a grid and how to move that field in a grid uh, and how uh, important this is so that you can see all of your reports or, or modify all your grids uh, in AX to suit your needs. And we're going to try to do all that in five good minutes. So we're going to go ahead and jump into AX, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to Accounts Payable, and we're going to go to the Open Vendor Invoices grid, okay? Okay. Um, for those of you out there, I keep getting emails from people saying, hey, why do you always use AP? And then I get some that say, why do you always use AR? Okay, I'm, I'm trying to please everybody here, all right? But if we're gonna go in here and we're gonna right click on a column here and we're gonna go ahead and say personalized name, okay? So this is a little bit different than AX2012 and then I'm gonna say personalized form, okay? So I'm gonna show you, I just wanna show you two pieces of this. Um, the first piece I'm gonna show you is how to add a field, all right? So again, I can, I click the plus button, okay? So this isn't intuitive. All right, but I click the plus button and then I click a column. Okay, once I click the column, then fields come up that I can add. Okay, that doesn't make a lot of sense. You have to kind of know that you have to click back on the column. That's important. Okay, so then I can select uh, fields I add. The other key thing here to note is is you only get fields that um, from the from the table or the entities that are linked to this grid, just like you would in AX. So in this one, you have some vendor transactions and you also have open vendor transactions. Those are kind of the two tables, the two sources. Okay. So now I'm going to click the, uh, the the multiple arrows button there, okay? And this allows me to now take the fields in this grid and I can slide them over. So I added due date here, and I'm going to slide that all the way over, okay? Um, and again, now I can't click off this form. I can't do anything else until I click this. So I try to go to a different company. I try to type in in the search page. Until I click close, I can't get out of this grid. Now that I hit close, I have the ability to get out of the grid.